What's up, everybody? We are back from our Thanksgiving break, and it's time for this week's weekly cheat sheet. I'm going to give you five. One, two, three, four, five. Five cheats on how you can make room for a mentor. All right, let's get started. I'm excited. I hope you are, too. Number one, examine yourself. Uh, make sure that you take a look at yourself and you realize that you don't know it all and that there's somebody out there that possesses uh, more experience than you, um, more knowledge than you, and more wisdom than you. And also remember that experience does not always equate wisdom. So wisdom is probably the most important thing, but examine that you may not possess all of the wisdom that you need in order to um, to become who um, God has created you to be. And so when you make room for a mentor, make sure that you have determined that you don't know it all, okay? And that somebody out there has something that you need. You need in order for you, for God to continue to build you on your journey to becoming who he has created you to be. So number one, examine yourself. Number two, choose, oh, there's my son. Choose wisely, okay? What you will want to do is make sure that you're choosing someone who has character, right? Um, someone who has character, but not necessarily the same personality or temperament as you. Um, we, cho we tend to lean towards people who have the same temperament, personality, the same likes and dislikes as we do. And that keeps us in a pretty comfortable position. And it probably will not bring any fruit or be effective in us um, becoming who God has created us to be. So we definitely want to stay away from that. But look for characteristics that you don't possess, but that that person does. And make sure that um, um, you... Um, just, just make sure that you're choosing somebody, um, that, that has character. <laughs> That's probably important. So choose wisely. Um, not just for someone who seems like they have it all together, but definitely have, um, some foundational char characteristics that you don't possess at the time. Number three. Um, what you'll want to do is be honest. Be honest with the person that you choose. So you want to um, make sure that you're in a position to share some of your vulnerabilities and be honest about your short, shortcomings and things that you may have um, failed at, things that you've stumbled upon, um, stumbled over and failed at. Um, you don't have it all together. Um, none of us have it all together, but you're definitely in need at this time and you want to make sure that you're in a position to be honest. So be honest with the person that you choose. Number four, be open, be open to their feedback, be open to a different way of thinking, a different point of view, a different way of seeing things. Be open to that. You want to make sure that you're prepared to be open to possibilities. Um, making room for a mentor means that you are you are open to possibilities. So make sure that your mind has become pliable enough to stretch itself, okay? Uh, number five, be inspired but not influenced. So um, making room for a mentor means that they are inspiring uh, they're ins inspiring the things that are already within you um, and they're igniting the passions and the fires that are already within you, but you're not influenced by them. You're not trying to become a carbon copy or uh, try to become them. Um, influence um, insinuates control and that they have some sort of... Um, control over you and it, I'm not saying that that's intentional but I'm saying when someone has some influence they control the outcome they control how you think the things that you do and so um and that responsibility lies with you it doesn't lie with them let me just make that clear so be inspired and not influenced you don't want to be a carbon copy but you want what their life reflects and their characteristics to inspire you to live up to your own character and to be inspired and, and to live up to your own potential all right so 
we have examine yourself, choose wisely, be honest, be open, and finally be inspired and not influenced. So this is your weekly cheat sheet. I hope that you guys are inspired. <laughs> Amen. So I'm excited to come before you guys once again. If you have questions, if you have comments, please leave them with me. Um, I'd be happy to respond to them. Um, things are just uh, are going really well. And so I thank you guys for all of your support. And I can't get wait, cannot wait to get in front of you again next week. Peace.